At ease, brothers. Today, I want to talk about a stream of prosperity or a stream of abundance, right? Now, this stream rests between two mountains. Let's call these mountains faith and belief, and the other mountain is the mountain of works, right? Now, the thing is this, brothers. Most people live their lives completely on one mountain instead of straddling both mountains or, or, or living between both mountains in this stream of abundance. But I'm telling you, the, the recipe, you know, the objective is to get in this stream, right? So if you read the book, The Kabbalion, it talks about the half-truthers. And in a nutshell, it's talking about people that live in their minds, people that are, are spiritually knowledgeable, people that know who God is, people that are aware of what the fifth dimension is, right? He said, but these people, you know, they, they don't really put boots on the ground. They, they don't really put the work in. They said these people have all this knowledge, but they end up living their lives frustrated because, because they aren't getting the results they want, right? It says they're the half-truthers. Now, in the book, uh, the book, The Weight of the Superior Man, David Dita talks about the half-truthers, even though he doesn't call them that. He talks about the half-truthers that live on the other side of the mountain. Now, he says these people, man, like they, they, they have no spiritual connection, but they're putting the works in. And he said these people are, the thing is, these people are winning in life as far as, far as achieving their goals. These people are hitting financial success. These people are getting the spouse they want. These people are, are living in the place that they want to do. They're seeing the world. He said the only thing is, these people have no fulfillment. In other words, they're, they're accomplishing these goals, but they're, they're on this race. Like, it's never going to be enough. It's never going to be enough. So they're half-truthers as well. And the thing is, the thing is, if, if, you live, if you live on either one of these mountains, you're not necessarily in the stream. You're kind of connected to the stream. You're, you're getting residue. But the objective, brothers, is to live fully in this stream, man. And this is what I've learned, bro. Once you taste that stream, man, it's very easy for the world, for society to bring you out. And the thing is, a lot of people taste that stream, but, you know, they'll pretty much just rest their legs in that stream and, and, get, and get a taste of that abundance. But if you, if you really want to swim in this water, brother, I'm going to tell you what you have to do, man. You really have to, you know, I always talk about, I always talking about blocking out anybody. You know, people, people that aren't on your mission, people that aren't, don't have the same goals as you, the same beliefs as you, going the same direction of you, as you, same morals and same values, just, just associated with your mission. I always say block these people out. But this is what I found, man. If you want to really submerge in this water, if you really want to, want, want to you, know, you know, swim in this water of abundance, brother, you really have to give zero Fs about anybody that's not in that, in that same movement. Again, but it's not just enough to it's not just enough to block people out. You really have to give 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 zero zero emotion to what people think about. Because, because it's still hindering you, brothers. I said this the other day, man. I said I said one of the main things is when a man gets to a point where where, where he's he's in a bubble. He's making his own moves. He li he's living in his own world regardless of what everybody else is doing. But I'm telling you that's the first step to taste this abundance. Because again, but it's not about just winning. It's not about just getting the bag. It's about having that fulfillment. It's about having that connection with source, man. I'm telling you, brother, it's all about balance. It's all about waiting. And